Ole Miss was a great experience. I met a lot of my best friends there. And now I'm a country boy almost. <laughs> like I love country music and I love just like football. All right, let me ask you. If you had to play football, what position are you? I mean, center out? Nah. <laughs> no, definitely wide receiver. All right. Welcome back to another episode of Talking While Running. Super special guest today, the Spanish Rocket, Mario Garcia Romo, yeah. um, on pro NCAA champ, 347 miler, yeah. absolute hoss coming out for the show. Thanks for coming out. How are you? I'm good. Uh, I just finished my session like a couple hours back, so I'm still a little tired. I'm doing some sprint stuff now, and it's definitely a lot of patience, but I'm feeling good. Uh, just happy to be back in Boulder with this awesome weather. So. Yep, it's not a bad day out here. No, good exactly. to hear you're back. Um, so you've been racing a good amount this yeah. uh, winter already. Huh. I don't think any of the times are what you're kind of crazed about, but how's it been so far? Getting back into form and, like you said, working on faster stuff now. Yeah, so like this winter has kind of been disappointing in that sense, like you know, results and stuff. But I've done definitely the best work of my life. So I'm just like. In this process, my attention to like a, a slightly different system, you know, like same system, but a slightly different workouts and days. So I'm very excited just to like get back to the team, kind of like see how this changes, you know, like change my <laughs> yeah. my running. And I'm just very excited and Nathan is very excited too. I think we are both on the same page in that regard and it's just going to get me very ready for summer. So. Okay, good. Well, we'll, yeah. we'll get into that first. I want to touch on your origin story. Uh, born in Spain. Yeah. What was it like? I know you kind of got into track and got out of your hometown. Uh, but you also said you were coached six days a week by your brother. Yeah, well... What was that like? <laughs> yeah, so I grew up in a very small town, only 200 people. So it's kind of like those towns that, you know, everybody knows everybody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, like, I couldn't... My parents are working, obviously, so I couldn't really go to the track or, like train with my training group in Salamanca, which is the city next to me. Uh -huh. So I was just home all the time, kind of like training with my brother and like, he was kind of like overlooking my training, you know, because I, as an older brother, he was like, he wants to take care of me. And I'm talking like, my brother was like four years old than me. There you so go. I was like, he was like 15, 16 years old, you know? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's hilarious. Yeah, so, <laughs> but like he did a great job just like managing and I like. You ran like 150. Yeah. yeah. Like you were raw, I mean. I mean, <laughs> he was like, he was like really good for me. And like, just like, great to have a, like, a great person to just like, kind of like get out out there because when you're training alone in a small town in yep. the winter, it's always hard to like, you know, find motivation. But he was always the guy who was like, kind of like motivating me to like, put on my shoes and like go out there. Yeah, that's great. I mean, yeah. Nathan Ritzenheim, Brian Benoit, and your brother. Yes. That's some good coaching. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Well, I, I also had another coach in high school, you know, but like, okay, there he was go. like only with me, like on track days, kind of. Got like. it. So the rest of the days, he like, my brother was kind of like my coach, yeah. So we jumped into it with On just a little bit, oh. but with the OAC and training with Dathan, like, how's it been just in Boulder? I mean, what's the biggest, any surprises or uh, like just big changes or anything like that? Any surprises, honestly, the weather? Like, <laughs> now, I mean, you guys live here as well, so like, we are getting an awesome weather this year, but like last year was awful. Yeah. So like, I feel like this is like kind of like the normal weather. So I'm very excited about that. And just like being able to train in an awesome place like this. Uh, some big changes, obviously like everyone in my group has been pretty good. <laughs> so when you come into a group like that has such high expectations and like, especially people that are so talented, it's so hard to get adapted to that. But like, it's at the same time a blessing because I'm able to train with like two of the best miners in the world. Yeah. And I like, some of the best market thank you guys in the world. Yeah. And one of the best best people of fifteen hundred guys. Yeah. So it's almost like, you know, like I'm every single day I step on the track, I'm in a world final pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Final. Okay, so that's hilarious you said that. Yeah. One of the workouts you did last year uh, broke, you know, the internet. Oh yeah. <laughs> you, bro you had six guys sub four yeah. at the CU Dome. Yeah. I mean, first of all, what the Second of all, <laughs> you guys crossed the line in the workout on like 358 point. Yeah. I mean, what does that even feel like? To be honest, it felt quite easy. <laughs> it was like the first level of the workout and it was more like to feel the pace for the next week. Uh, obviously, like, 
breaking for such a high achievement, but like it's not fast. It's just no. Not. But when you're talking about people like Jared, you know that has run three forty three. Yeah, he's like breaking for is like twice. Yeah, so like, yeah. When you're training with people like that, it's what I'm saying. Like they push you to like be better, and you know, like I want to be the best in the world. So like I'm, I'm in the right place to do it. Yeah. And, like I think like I'm very happy to be part of this team, and especially just grateful to on for giving me this opportunity. Yeah, I mean. I also want to shout out Dathan, obviously legendary, yeah, legendary coach and athlete. Yeah, but watching that workout specifically, I mean, what the heck do you think he could run right now in like well, a ten k or something? Well, so I ran a ten k on the road this winter, and it didn't go that well. So that's one of the things we found out this winter. It's like I'm more of an 800 kind of guy, and I think that's good. Yeah, <laughs> because I want to be running the bike of the self aware. <laughs> yeah, so. Now we're gonna start dropping down and distance a little bit. Okay. Uh, obviously, the video is gonna be my main focus, but but yeah, I want to like I want to try to run a very fast 100 uh, this season. How fit is Dayton now? Oh, Dayton is pretty fit. I feel like <laughs> he sometimes put on his shoes. He only wore Seiko, so okay. only wore Seiko Boom Threes, which are like the the super suit that one has. And yeah, I mean like so he's you know, yeah. He's like always like dropping like you know like six watts and stuff like that. So. He's super fit, like he, yeah. he runs something. Yeah. He's just gonna run like, I mean, he could drop like a 61 at age 80 maybe. I don't right know if a 61, because <laughs> like, his sensors usually blow up if he tries to run okay. fast. But definitely like, I could see him like bro, going like 14, 30 in the spike or like, yeah. something like that. Honestly. Slight work. Yeah. Um. Okay, and then while we're on the topic with OAC and um, on, you said your brother actually works in the headquarters. Yeah. You've got connections with the brand. Yeah. You said Carlos Villarreal introduced you, kind of, with the OAC? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the evolution between you, OAC, and On, you know, been like, and yeah, anything exciting coming up? So it's funny because I, I signed with On in June, I finished late, right? And my brother literally started the interview process in January, but didn't know he was my brother until, like, literally the last interview. So he applied for the job, obviously, and like, everything, he got, he got it, like, through, like, his accolades and everything. Merit. There we go. And and you know, like now he works around. Like, he's in the lining team under Jordan Donnelly, and like he helps create the spikes, helps create like the performances. And it's it's just amazing to have my brother with me, like doing you know the stuff we love, traveling the world, and especially just like setting all these good moments. Yeah. And bad moments as well because like he's always there for those as well. So I mean, I'm very grateful that I get to share. You know this journey with my brother and like i wouldn't choose anybody else to do it oh yeah yeah and carlos i mean yeah i mean he was kind of like the guy who introduced me to to the team and i think like you know that spanish connection kind of like speaking spanish and being in the SLA and stuff yeah. he was like just also like great and like i'm very grateful to him for like introducing me to the to the team and kind of like you know like especially trying to make me join the team yeah shout out carlos yeah i love carlos good nugget um yeah. You kind of mentioned traveling the world yeah. with On. You've been all over. Obviously, just from where you're from and then coming here, but Italy, Finland, Estonia, Germany, Hungary. <laughs> um, what's like the best venue? Yeah. And maybe just a city outside of running that surprised you the most so far? Okay, best venue? I would say Oslo. All right. Like, Business Stadium is yeah. like quite cool. Like, it went down. People know a lot about like track and I like, just. Very cool atmosphere. Obviously, they cheer a lot for like the Norwegians. Yeah, uh, <laughs> they're decent. Yeah, but I especially love the race in the UK. I feel like there is something about it. Like people like really get after it. Wow. Okay. So like Glasgow, you know, London only was like probably one of the most places of my life. Just how many people was in the stadium, like racing the Olympic Stadium as well. Yeah. And I mean, like, yeah, those two places kind of like it stood out from like the other ones. And yeah. but a city maybe where you were explored and we're like, oh wow. Oh, definitely. Like, I haven't really raced in Rome, but I have raced in Italy. So like, I've been in Rome while racing in Italy. So Rome is like my favorite city by, All right. in the world. And like, yeah, I mean, I've been there like four times already. <laughs> okay. And every time I go, it's like, I love it even more, so. All right, that's fire. We're jumping around here, but I want to go back now. You go from Spain to Ole Miss. Yeah. So first of all, I'm a big fan of Ryan Benoit. Uh, what what was that like pitch like, and well, how did that <laughs> come about? So uh, I didn't visit any schools. I I got offers by various schools, obviously, but Benoit was I. So what I did is I took the top ten schools, had in Lake Cross in 2016. 
and I email every single coach, <laughs> or like reach out in DMs and stuff like that. And Ben was the only one to answer. Wow, the only one school to answer. Well, all right, we're gonna go through the top ten right now. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember like the top ten exactly, but like he was the only one that answered. And I mean, like he, he was just like, I felt, I felt a good like connection between us. And like, I was like, oh, I want this guy to coach me. And yeah, I mean, like the four years journey with him was amazing. Obviously, the start was like hard, you know, when you're a freshman at sophomore in college. Yeah, it's always hard, but junior senior year was amazing. And I mean, like he's so now he's my friend, you know. Like I go to God Poly often. Like I try to like yeah. visit him, and he saw Hudson and his wife. Michelle. He's moved out there for the yeah. record. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, like yeah, I mean, Ole Miss was a like, great experience. I met a lot of my best friends there, and now I'm a country boy almost. <laughs> like I love country music, and I love just like. <laughs> Football and okay, stuff like that. That's so. hilarious because I'm a, I'm just fascinated by the idea of a young Mario coming over from Spain, yeah. being introduced to SEC football. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, what was that like? like? Any tailgates? Oh, it was a suck because like <laughs> imagine like coming from a two hundred people down to like a thirty thousand people at school. You know, like it was such a big contrast. And like honestly, the first thing was quite hard. Like I had a hard time, but then with my teammates my roommates and everything like they really helped me too and and yeah i mean i enjoy my spring there so much i mean we're throwing some keg stands or what what, what did that i look mean like? i did went to like like football games at tailgates so nice. i tried to avoid it because yeah, it was the first kind of season for us yeah yeah but yeah i mean like baseball games basketball games just like summer school you know that's sick yeah and the summer hospitality is real and like everything everybody really welcomed me and I really feel like Mississippi and Oxford is home for me now. Oh wow, that's really good. This episode of Talking While Running is brought to you by Sock Moose. Highest quality running socks, most affordable price. You're gonna run faster, you're gonna look sick. Go to the sockmoose.com. I'm rocking them. Everyone in Boulder is wearing them. If you're not wearing Sock Moose, you're just slow and just embarrassing. So honestly, check them out. And thanks again, Sock Moose, for this episode. I was just asking Mario about uh, the uh, experience of going on the field for any accolades after he won yeah. NCAAs. Yeah, I did. I went on the field uh, a couple of times for the like, ISC championships. One, is, one was special because one of my favorite movies is Invictus, and Morgan Freeman plays Nelson Mandela there. That's so And like, he was on the field, and like he just like took his hat off and like, waved at us. So it was kind of cool just to see that. Wow. And then like God, after I won NCAAs, I went on the field with Cinta and Shay Taiwo, uh, Hammer Thor. And like, it was also like pretty cool just to like, you know, after like graduating, go on the field, all my roommates are there, all my friends are there, and just like, obviously, I tailgate before that and everything. <laughs> so it was kind of cool just to like, get the full, full experience yeah, yeah. in college. That's and like, we're having to race cross country. All right, let me ask you, if you had to play football, what position are you? I mean, center out? No, nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely wide receiver. All right. I think I would like to play that position. You're like a Zay Flowers. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> So then, I mean, your career at Ole Miss really took off. Yeah. I think you said kind of COVID really yeah. was an opportunity for you to regroup, yeah. get fit. You went to Flagstaff. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Like, I mean, what can you say more about that vibe shift? Well, so I, that was definitely the trip that changed kind of like my, my running career because uh, after COVID, we had to take the decision of like going home to Spain you know, or staying in the US. And Spain was something like a very strong lockdown. So it was a tough decision to just stay here, you not know, see my family for a full year. But I mean, I stayed with my friends Wally, John, and I'm Ben Sabino in Oxford. And then we decided to like go to Flagstaff, and it was a, a very good trip. This definitely like the coolest experience of my life so far. Just been there for six weeks with like 14 friends, you know. Yeah. And I like, do, and especially like what we love, like running. Yeah. At the same time, obviously, you can like last like party in the summer. Around. Yeah, yeah. You know, doing this stuff, like going to Grand Canyon <laughs> and stuff like that. Yeah. But so I mean, was it just a positive energy of that group, or was there anything like, you know, uh, in your training maybe that clicked? I think like I decided as well that you know if I was gonna stay, I was gonna do everything possible to just make it worth it. So I really locked it in. I was lucky to train with Walid, especially because he was like one of the best in the NCAA. Yeah. So training with him like really made me better, and training with him all summer, you know. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, like then I came back the next cross country season, and I started winning, and I won conference and everything. Yeah. And I just changed the tone for everything because my confidence steps was there, and like I was just able to, you know, put in very good performances. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's really cool. It's a good lesson too for kids out there, like, yeah, wondering what they should do this summer. 
Oh yeah, send it, dude. Yeah, like I mean, coming out to RCT in Boulder, flat stuff, you know, yeah. it's like amazing and like such a cool experience. And also just, you know, like you get to share a moment with your friends and you get to like turn in a very cool place while doing the stuff that is fun. Yeah. So for me, it's like, I mean, it's a must. I mean, like I wouldn't change that that year for anything. Like, yeah. I don't regret the same here for a full year. Even that was not seeing my family, but yeah. they understood and they were very supportive for me. Okay, so here. Mario actually was glad COVID happened. No, well, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm no, 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 <laughs> no, it was a pretty tough time. <laughs> okay, okay. But, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it was it was a cool experience for me here. So, all right, then you won't miss your indoor career too, and outdoor, obviously. Yeah. You start killing it on the track too. You win a title NCAA indoor. First of all, I think Chris Chavez said, yeah, you you remind him of Centrowitz. <laughs> I felt the same way. That's a good compliment. Yes, yeah. because not only are you tactical and you just look like you're right there at every race. Yeah, your form looks like him too. Yeah, just super <laughs> smooth. I mean, he's one of the guys I always looked up to, and I was lucky enough to run with him in Hawaii this uh, this last December. Uh -huh. And I ran with him and Jared, and like you stalk the whole way. Yeah, and like. I kind of wanted to ask him for a photo, but I was too like, oh, come on. to ask him, honestly. Uh, but he, he's the one that asked me to run. No, so Central is kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, sorry, Central, I asked you for a photo. <laughs> uh, hopefully, I said I'll race with him uh, this other season. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, yeah. But also, I think you said you looked at his races and others, like yeah. on YouTube, like you're a nerd. I love it. Yeah, I'm more, more than a nerd. Like, I feel like the 1500 is like a, it's like a chess game mm. sometimes, you know, and like, you have to like learn how everything works and like how people run. And it's kind of like studying like my opponents and like kind of trying to predict what they're gonna do. Yeah, you're in the film room. Yeah, 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 kind of yeah. like film room, yeah, like football. Uh, yeah, I love it. I mean, that's smart. Like why don't yeah. everyone do that? But yeah. is there anything from a video that you remember specifically that you applied to racing that was like, you got directly from that? Yeah, I think like especially it's like trying to cover the less distance possible is key. Like if you're running a four to seven mile, like you're running a 250 mile, doesn't matter. The guy who covers the distance is gonna be faster, obviously. Yeah. So I like, saving the saving that energy is very important. So for me, I try to ride that rail all the time, but obviously sometimes it's like harder, and I try to like always keep a you know that kick that I think is super yeah. important in the 300. So, and I think it's also one of my strengths. Yeah. yeah. So no question. I mean, I, my mind's going everywhere now. So yeah. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> we gotta talk about the. The championship though, I mean, did anything change between you and Ryan Yeah. after that win, like uh, looking back or was it kind of just, not let's really. keep it the same? Yeah, not really. I think like we all, we kept the same thing because like my last year was in a, I think about one year before, it was four years of hard work and I like, just like, accumulating weeks and weeks of work. Yeah, yeah. So that's one, why they're doing well. Yeah. One thing is clear is like Ryan is about consistency. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think like we stick to the program and then, yeah, I mean, we had this appointment of like getting second and uh, several others, my last race at all means. But then I was lucky enough to bounce back and I win the Spanish Championship and, yep. and going towards with Spain. That's all, yeah. Yeah, so let's talk about Worlds. Yeah. First of all, you get fourth yeah. in Eugene. Yeah. In one of the most epic, well, I'm going to call it third, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one well, of those was... <laughs> Cut. <laughs> um, but, look, I mean, that was like obviously a massive experience and a huge show in on. Yeah. It was really like your first crack at it. Yeah. What's the biggest lesson there? Or uh, just like memory? So they memory. They found that uh, came to me before the race. Like he was like, Mario, just come in and believe. I was like, all right. I was like, I'm sending it. I was like, I don't care if I finish 12. I'm gonna be up there. I'm gonna try to fight for the medals. And I did that. I went through 234, 1100, which was definitely the fastest the split I ever had. Yeah. For like 10 seconds, like, not like two seconds or something uh -huh. like that. And I, I mean, I surprised myself with the strength I had in the last lap. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know another race you surprised yourself on the same track. Yeah. 347. Yeah. Behind one of the most insane Garrett and and you Jacob the showdowns. Players. Yeah. What was that like? Same track. Yeah. Similar result, but way faster. Yeah. I mean, are there similarities or differences to be on those ones? I was like a little coward that day. <laughs> I, I didn't choose 347 like, coward. Yeah. But I tried to play it safe, but uh, I wish I could have like tried to go a little faster because I think I could have. But, there was a bit of a gap. Yeah. I'll say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but like, I learned good lessons for like this other season and I'm gonna try to apply them and like, 
policy. It hasn't been polished yet, but like, I'm gonna be improved on taking plastic earlier. So hopefully, like, I can just, you know, the you know, clothes I got this year and like be the guy who purchased the like first. Yeah, yeah. So I, I say, while we're on the subject, I, I, we gotta talk about Yanko. Yeah. I know you've raised him a lot. Yeah. Maybe more than like anyone because you were. I was here. Yeah, on your PMs. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. And also, <laughs> he did this in the prelim and you're right there oh yeah yeah did yeah. you notice he was doing that yeah I mean, he's always done that i like i have a lot of respect for him i like you know like say much well, competitors but to be honest like he's always been like the best in europe and like i i also like find a lot of inspiration and like how he works how he just grinds every single you know day of the year pretty much yeah and I mean, I respect him a lot as a competitor, and like, I've got to dive out to him a little bit this summer, especially. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, I hope he's healthy because yeah. Yeah, I want him to be in like, that final in Paris. So. Absolutely. So, yeah. we're, we're approaching the end here. I just want to say, make sure you follow yeah. Mario throughout the spring and summer. Yeah. All the run details will be on Trackster. Yeah. As you already know. <laughs> uh, and shout out for coming through. Yeah, thank you. So I got much. one question from Cinta. Yeah. Uh, what was your college nickname and how did you get it? <laughs> Obviously, like, we started the video with it, Spanish Rocket. And the way I got it, honestly, I cannot really disclose it. Uh, you have to ask my cut. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's okay. But no, it was, it's, a, it's a nickname that I stick around and like, uh, now like everybody knows me like that. I really, at least from all homies. And like, yeah, I mean, uh, even Benjoy name, like, calls me that. So. <laughs> that's so, it. Yeah. I mean, right. you have to like bring up Taylor or Franklin or something on like okay. the experience last year. So. Okay, okay. Yeah. We gotta, uh, I wanna do some word association. Yeah. <laughs> so just say the first thing that comes to your mind. Yeah. Tactical. Uh, chess. Okay. okay. Isotope. Oh, chemistry. Okay. Yeah. Mud. Mud? Cross country. It's All right. War. Yeah. Two wars. That's good. One. There's no rules. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, how about Porsche? What is it? Porsche? Porsche. Oh, 911 GT3 RS. <laughs> All right, That's my go. favorite car. I honestly want to have that car so much. All right. Yeah. A couple more of these interviews, we'll be able to afford it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. How about Whirlpool? Whirlpool? What, yeah. is that? what is that? Your trails. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, uh, solid. <laughs> okay, like, hum humidity. Because hey, every time you run there, I promise you, you lose like 10 bucks. All right. Yeah. And then how about piano? Piano? Uh, I don't know why Coldplay. Okay. I guess, uh, yeah, that's smart in playing piano. All right, and then finally, Wanamaker. Uh, I guess Yara because he's won uh, the last couple of years, so I, I hope to change that next year. So. Yeah, yeah, I get ready, Yara. All right, well, beautiful dude, thanks for coming yeah. out. That's a wrap. Thank you. Make sure you check him out, of course, and can't thank you enough, Mario. Thank you, thank you, guys. Also, any relation relation to Tony Romo? Have you gotten that before? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I might have to get a DNA test or something. He's uh, a yeah. He's an old football player. Maybe that's where football, my football, uh, like, yeah, yeah, my like friend down, down <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's um, coming up? Coming up in next the spring and any workouts or anything? What's on your immediate horizon? So, Ben relays. I'll do an 800 in a pretty high oh, level. Oh, okay, great. 800, uh, somewhere out west. I wouldn't specify yet, but, uh, and then Europeans, the Spanish stems. What are you running at Penn? Uh, we're running the 1500. Okay, yeah. Sick. So, very excited for this other season and like I'm just very excited for this year like to keep like you know trying to win and like oh, yeah. trying to get a better become a better runner. Mario if you don't want it we, we'll just cut it. <laughs> oh I've done it of course I want it. <laughs> I might want it before after my run though. Just a treat. Ooh. I like this one. Yeah. Grab it, grab it, yeah, grab yeah, it. Yeah, thank you. Well oh, I yeah. can I can do it. I mean I have one of my house. <laughs> it's up to you. Uh, there we go, here cheers. <laughs>